everybody, and welcome to New Day Northwest. It is not every day that a person gets singled out by their idol to perform with them on stage in front of a sold-out festival crowd for 14-year-old Jack West. That's exactly what happened, though, two years ago when Pearl Jam's Eddie Vedder invited him up to share a song at a music festival in Tennessee. And now, with the help of renowned Seattle producer Barrett Jones, Jack's releasing his debut album called For the Record. Here to perform from it is Jack West. Of asked you to build me a river deep enough to cry in. You said I must fill with your salt water spills, which now my eyes are blinded. You took me aside and you said not to lie to the ones below you. I said that I won't, but I did anyway. This is where I've got to Drive by Flashback Long ride to where I'm from There is no flag large enough to cover shame of killing innocent people Seems like my enemy's still not scared of me After I showed him Ask why Deep cry Reply to my question Leave us behind Names on the wall Give us time Be Underwater now sinking below surface of exposure. I can't seem to separate or find no better place, which now I'm still remaining. Me That. that was tremendous. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It's great yeah. to meet you. Great to meet you Have too. a seat. How do you how do you warm up for this time of day? <laughs> well, it's, you're not up at this yeah, time no, normally, it's, right? It's a bit early. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I have a I brought a keyboard with me in the hotel, and I do like I do like you know do re mi fa sol la ti do across it. Yep. And I warm up, you know, for like like 20 minutes, and not that long. And I drink water. I take a hot steaming shower. <laughs> All of that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're 14, but you're not a beginner. This, I doubt if you even remember when you started playing guitar, right? Um, I first picked up, you know, a, you know, a small like first act guitar when I was like three, but I started taking lessons when I was like eight, seven maybe, and kind of took off from there. What motivated you? W was it music you listened to that inspired you, or was it something else? Uh, yeah, it was. I started listening to like the Doors when I was four. I had the, um, 
Morrison Hotel album when I was four, yeah. So, uh, that was, Aren't it, there a lot of four-year-old George? Yeah, <laughs> I no, don't I, don't, think I, don't, so. I don't think there's what, a lot. What was it about that music that touched you? Do you know looking back? Um, I don't know. It was. I was also into like pop and rap when I was little yeah. as well, but it was something my parents grew up listening to that stuff, and I really liked it as well. Then I was like, oh, this rap and pop is trash. I was like, <laughs> you moved you know, in another I was direction. Like, Pearl Jam, The Doors, The Red Hot Chili Peppers, Pink Floyd. I I cannot argue with any of that. So you're working now with Barrett, a producer who's yeah, yeah. just tremendous, has worked with the Foo Fighters and Nirvana. You've done your first album. Was that like a pretty big learning curve? Yeah, I'm definitely um, from Rochester and I did uh, like little recording stuff around there, but it was nothing compared to doing it with someone like Barrett in a studio like his. So it's pretty cool. Does it... Um, does it change your vision of the future? I mean, when you go through something like that, you learn so much, yeah. and you get to be around people who can just exponentially expand what you work on. What do you think is ahead for you musically? What do you want? Well, uh, next summer I'd like to play a lot of festivals. I played a lot of festivals this summer, but I'd like to play even more, and I'd like to just travel around. Mostly touring is my goal. Like. Some How are festivals different from other kinds of tours that you find so intriguing? Well, I, 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 will, I will say I like the festivals better than the clubs, for sure. Just, you know, it's a, it's a big stage, you have your own space. There's, you're outside. There's, uh, yeah, you're outside. There's, like, a lot of people. No matter where you are in the country, there's guaranteed to be a lot of people, no matter what festival. So, just a fun experience. Tell me about your first album. Um... Yeah, I recorded it here in Seattle in December with Barrett Jones, and there's eight songs on it. I originally had 18, but um, <laughs> but we cut it down to the eight best. He was Is that hard? I mean, yeah, there were some, uh, why not this one? But he was very, um, per, you know, wanted things exact and precise, which some producers are loose about it, and, you know, they let you do what they want you want, and he really... He really wanted those eight, and I was like, "All right, you know, you know, you know best." <laughs> so we recorded those eight, and it came out August second. It's absolutely terrific, and Thank your you. voice is so wonderful. Thank you. Um, do you feel like you're homeschooled now, right? Yeah. Do you feel like you can balance all this stuff as you go forward? It's a lot to ask of somebody in their early teens. Yeah, um, I think the right move was definitely homeschooling. Um, yeah, I don't know how you do it any other way. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, homeschooling's cool, and I, I do balance it pretty well with school music. I mean, I like music better, but... <laughs> Try but, to get some sleep. You were at Woodstock 50, right, and at Bottle yeah. Rock as well? Yeah. What was your kind of primary memory of Woodstock 50? Um, it was pretty cool. Yeah, I played uh, for John Fogarty and Grace Potter. Oh, it I was, love Grace Potter. Yeah, just, just cool. Yeah, it was, it was definitely cool. It was... Um, do you cool look around setting. sometimes and just go, what? Yeah, it was looking over the mountains. It was in the exact spot it was 50 years ago. That's that something. Cool. Mm -hmm. That is something. Thank you so much for coming yeah, yeah. on. Thanks we wish you me. the very best. Thank you. Jack is doing an in-store record release performance tomorrow night at 7 at Easy Street Records in West Seattle. It's a free and all-ages show, and you can RSVP on Facebook. Then on Saturday, he does an acoustic show at Sleight of Hand Cellars in Soto.